If you're anything like me, you picked up your Apple HomePod Mini so that you can start your very own Apple Smart Home. Not only does it serve as the home hub for the Apple Smart Home ecosystem, but it also serves as your voice assistant, aka smart speaker. This will allow you to take advantage of Hey Siri commands, and I want you to get the most out of your HomePod Mini. At the $99 price point, it's a no-brainer for anyone's smart home. You can get one just as a starter, or you can get many for every single room of your smart home. In today's video, I'll list some of my favorite Hey Siri commands so that you can get the most out of your Apple HomePod Mini. You won't want to miss this one. The first use is going to be for smart home commands, aka HomeKit commands. This will allow you to take advantage of controlling every single aspect of your home that's currently in HomeKit through your voice, which is what we want from our smart home. For instance, you can say, hey Siri, turn on the lights in the living room and they will turn on. In my smart home, I use it to turn on lights, turn on my television, and control scenes and automations all around my smart home. Depending on what products you currently have within HomeKit, you can control every single aspect and every single automation and routine that you have in your smart home. This is by far my most used command, and that's why it's number one on this list. The second use case is gonna be the intercom. You may not be aware of the intercom, but it's a super handy feature to send messages throughout your household. You can control it via your smartphone or via the HomePod itself, and you can send messages to anyone in your household. For instance, I can control it from my iPhone and send a message to my HomePod saying, hey, it's time for dinner. Hey, Chris, it's time for dinner. Or, I can send a message from my HomePod to everyone's phone or other smart speakers and let them know the same thing. Use number three, phone calls and messages. I bet you didn't know that you could make phone calls and send messages from your phone all using your voice on your HomePod mini. As long as your phone is somewhere near your HomePod mini, you can take advantage of this feature. Simply just use the Hey Siri command and say, call John Smith or send a message to John Smith. I'll show you this feature in action, and this is something that I take advantage of all the time. Hey Siri, text John Smith, hey, what are you doing? Okay, Chris, your message to John Smith says, hey, what are you doing? Do you want to change it or send it? Send it. Done. Hey Siri, call John Smith. Okay, Chris, calling John Smith, mobile, when you're done. Just say, hey Siri, hang up. The fourth use of our HomePod Mini is going to be for music and AirPlay. While I don't use Apple Music personally, I more take advantage of it using AirPlay through Spotify. You can AirPlay all different types of tracks. So once you go to the Spotify app, you can go ahead and just AirPlay it to your HomePod Mini. But it works better if you use Apple Music. So if you're an Apple Music user, you can go ahead and say, hey Siri, play the Foo Fighters on Apple Music, and it'll shuffle songs by the Foo Fighters. You can also say, play specific songs by specific artists, and you can play those exact songs. As well, you can do a radio from some of your favorites, or just say, hey Siri, play chill music, and Siri will listen to your command and play exactly what you're looking for. You probably already knew the music feature was enabled, but the HomePod Mini has great sound. That's why it leads the way for smart speakers in its price category. It provides excellent quality sound for its small footprint. Feature number five is going to be one that I use every day, and that's timers and alarms. You can use the HomePod Mini to set timers as well as alarms. Let me give you an example of both. I wake up at 4.45 every day, so I have a daily alarm set using the alarm feature where I say, hey Siri, set an alarm every day for 4.45 a.m. I set your alarm for 4.45 a.m. starting tomorrow. And that's how I'll wake up. On the other hand, Timers serve as something for a one-off occasion. Let's say you put dinner in the oven and you need to remember to take it out. You can say, hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes and it'll take care of that. 30 minutes, starting now. After 30 minutes goes by, you'll be reminded and you can take your dinner out of the oven ready to eat. The sixth use is going to be something that I don't think everyone's aware of, but you can use your HomePod Mini to set reminders and add things to lists on your Reminders app. For instance, if you're talking about a grocery list and you need to remember that you need to get milk at the store, you can simply say, hey Siri, remind me to get milk, and it'll go to your Reminders app on your phone. Very cool, very handy. The final use case scenario for our HomePod Mini, principle number seven, is going to be Handoff. Simply put, Handoff allows you to transfer phone calls or audio 
from your phone to your HomePod mini and vice versa. While I don't use this feature all the time, it may be more practical for your use case scenario. Like I mentioned, you can do this with audio, AKA music, YouTube videos, or phone calls. All you do is put your phone against the top of the HomePod mini and you can transfer it. Did you learn something from this video? Do you think I missed anything? Drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more smart home content. I'm posting here every single week so that you can build out your dream smart home. If you want more from me, Chris Orm, follow me on Instagram. I'm posting there every single day, documenting my life journey. The username is Chris double underscore Orem. I appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you so much for your time and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.